I'm telling you, it's the aliens. Seriously, it could be the Portuguese, not the Native Americans, the Phoenicians. Are you crazy? No, 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 no. The only plausible explanation is the aliens. This is the series where I tell you a story, its subsequent theories and explanations, and then I'll let you make up your mind. Today we delve into the mystery of the petroglyphs that were found on the Titan Rock. It is a grey-brown crystalline sandstone rock that arrived to the Taunton River during the last ice age and weighs about 40 tons. Measuring 1.5 meters or 5 feet high, 2.9 meters or 9.5 feet wide and 3.4 meters or 11 feet long, it has drawn the attention not for its size but rather for the petroglyphs carved in one of its six sides. It has been the subject of much speculation and the inspiration for many a book and article. However, everyone is in agreement about one thing. The inscriptions are very, very real and very, very old. So uh, a lot of people learned a lot of money from a big piece of stone. It's a strange, strange world. The Titan Rock Mystery supposedly began with the visit of Reverend John Danford in 1680. Since then, a variety of people, including scholars, students and even tourists, have visited the stone in an attempt to decipher the script. And the Reverend blessed the stone. In 1963, the rock has moved to a small museum in the Dighton Rock State Park, which was listed in the National Register of Historic Places. Literally, a dozen theories exist about the origin of the petroglyphs. We will discuss the most prevailing ones. John Danford became convinced the carvings were of Native American origin, more specifically the Wampanoag Indians. In the old Indian tradition, a tale is told about a ship arriving and a battle ensued between the locals and the newcomers. So they ran out of peace pipes? It is a matter of discussion that Reverend Cotton Mather has actually seen the boulder himself. But in 1689 he certainly had an opinion about it. He believed the engravers were Satanist explorers who ultimately perished in America before the Puritans came along. The devil is in the boulder! <laughs> in 1767, Ezra Stiles, president of Harvard University, hypothesized the famous seafaring Phoenicians, a maritime trading culture, were responsible. Similarities between the Dighton Rock and the Brazilian Inga Stone, who is also still a mystery, however linked to the Phoenicians, might suggest the same link for the Dighton Rock. They commemorated Carnival! <clears throat> In his book 1421, the year China discovered the world, Gavin Menzies suggests that the intricate designs were made by ancient Chinese sailors who visited America a hundred years before Columbus. Ching Chang, you're crazy! <laughs> French nobleman Count Antoine Court de Goubelin hypothesized the inscriptions were actually a product of ancient explorers of Carthage, visiting the place thousands of years ago. It is the recipe for croissant. 
Carl Christian Raffen, in 1837, believed that the inscriptions related to the voyage of Porfinus uh, Kalsifni to Vinland, described in both Eric Saga Rauna and in Grey Lindinga Saga. In other words, it were the Vikings. The Rock of Thor! <clears throat> Several researchers independently over time suggested it were early Portuguese explorers. Edmund Delabar, a researcher and professor of psychology at Brown University, became famous in the early 1900s for his claim that the carvings were left by Corte Real, including the coat of arms of Portugal. New York University language professor Joseph Damaso Fargosu defended this theory, and Manuel Luciano da Silva has dedicated 65 years of his life in an attempt to prove his theory. Next they're gonna say that Vasco da Gama added an introduction to it. No aliens? <laughs> A short but complicated one. More theories exist, and my suggestion is that you might do some more research yourself before you decide. Did you like the video? Click the like button. Leave comments or start a discussion in the comment box. If you want to see more, you can subscribe to my channel. I have a vlog channel, so if you want to get bored, why don't you check it out? And you can follow me on social media. All links in the description. See you next time.